Hey everyone, welcome to iTower. Today we're diving into a fundamental concept in JavaScript that often confuses developers when they compare objects. If you've ever tried to check if two objects are equal using triple equals and got unexpected results, this video is for you. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support really helps us grow and bring you more great content on JavaScript and web development. All right, let's jump into it. When we work with primitive values like numbers, strings, or booleans, JavaScript stores them directly in memory. That means, when we compare two identical primitive values, JavaScript checks if they are exactly the same. Each of these returns true because primitive values are compared by their actual content. But when we work with objects, things work differently. In JavaScript, objects are stored in memory locations, also called references. That means, when we assign an object to a variable, we are not storing the object itself, but rather a reference to where it is located in memory. Let's see this in action. Even though object 1 and object 2 have the same properties and values, this comparison returns false. That's because JavaScript is checking whether both variables point to the same memory location, not whether they contain the same data. Since we created two separate objects, they exist in different places in memory, so JavaScript considers them different. Now let's see what happens when we assign one object to another variable. This time we get true because both variables point to the exact same place in memory. That also means if we modify one of the variables, it will affect the other as well. Now, let's think about how we can compare objects by value rather than by reference. We need to check each property inside the object to see if they have the same structure and values. Let's write a function that does exactly that. First, we define a function called deep equal, which takes two parameters, the first object and the second object. These are the two objects we want to compare. After that, we check if both objects are exactly the same reference. If they are, we can immediately return true because they are pointing to the same object in memory. Now, we have a special case to handle not a number. In JavaScript, it is not equal to itself, which means if we compare them, it will return false. To fix this, we need to add a check. We use number is in and to ensure that both objects are not a number and return true if they are. Next, we handle cases where one or both values are not actually objects. If either object is null or a primitive, like a number, string, or boolean, we return false because a non-object can't be deeply equal to an object. We then extract all the property keys of both objects. This allows us to compare their structures. Before comparing values, we check if the objects have the same number of keys. If they don't, we already know they aren't equal, so we return false. Next, we loop through each key in the first object. We'll check if it also exists in the second object and whether its value is the same. First, we check if the second object has the same key. If not, we return false because the objects don't have the same structure. Then, we call deep equal recursively to compare the values inside that key. This ensures that even nested objects are checked properly. If any key value pair is different, we return false. Finally, if we loop through all the keys and everything matches, we return true, meaning the objects are deeply equal. Let's thoroughly test our function with some examples to see how it handles different objects. We define three objects, object A, object B, and object C. Object A and object B have exactly the same structure and values, including a nested object. Object C is mostly identical to A and B, but its nested property z has a different value. Now, let's compare these objects using our deep equal function. The first comparison returns true because object A and object B are deeply identical. Every key and nested value match exactly. The second comparison returns false because object C differs in the value of z. Even though the structure is the same, one mismatched value makes the objects not equal. Let's test some edge cases to make sure our function works correctly. We check for null, an empty object, undefined, and nan. We get true for the first test because null is equal to null. The second test returns false because an empty object is not the same as null. The third test also returns false because one object has a property b, while the other doesn't. Finally, the last test returns true because our function correctly recognizes nan as equal, even though JavaScript normally considers nan different from itself. And that's it! 
Now you know why comparing objects in JavaScript with triple equals doesn't work, how memory locations affect object comparison, and how to correctly check if two objects are deeply equal. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments how you would improve this function or if you have other techniques for comparing objects. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.